Well, let's talk lost treasure in America. Internationally, it's been said that the king of the Aztecs, King Montezuma, had his warriors hide his jewels in the United States. And get this, some treasure hunters actually believe it's here in southern Utah. Good for Utah's Tasmanian Mafus went to see if there really is gold in them their hills. Historians say that the richest cache of gold is hidden right here in southern Utah, and that's buried deep within these caverns. Now, hundreds of people have explored land and water to find it, but still, to this day, no one has gotten close to Montezuma's treasure. Legends say that during the 16th century, 8,000 Aztec men carried King Montezuma's gold from Mexico City to the U.S. It was to protect it from the Spanish conquistadors. Montezuma's treasure someplace in North America. Some believe it's in Kanab, Utah, and that it's hidden right here at the Three Lakes Pond. Archaeologists believe that the Aztec thought of this as their actual homeland. It's said that the Aztecs may have used a clever strategy called a water trap to hide their precious jewels. The trap requires digging 35 feet deep under the water and then building a tunnel that would lead inside this cavern. And create a room that would have been higher than the water level. So they, they drain the lake out and they go back in and build this cavern, put the gold back in there, and then they fill the water back up. Then historians say the Aztecs killed each other on the spot so that their spirits could protect the gold. The ones who deposited the gold here, that their spirits are still here. If there is curses, this is cursed. Lon Child's family has owned this pond for 30 years. His father bought the property for $1,500 after suspecting the gold may have been there. And since then, they've tried to look for the treasure. Every time there's been an attempt, there's, uh, there's been bad things that have happened. He said treasure hunters have spent more than $100,000 worth of equipment to dive into the lake. But strange situations would stop them. All of a sudden, the divers started screaming, I'm being choked out, I'm seeing ghosts, I'm seeing ghosts. And that's not all that happened. Some have even lost their lives. People have died. Uh, we had a well driller that died. Child says in 1998, his father hired a well driller to attempt another way in. They drilled a four inch hole on top of the cavern, and when they pulled it up, it had gold flakes on top of the drill. So they wanted to try again with a bigger drill. He went home that night and had a heart attack and died, and three weeks later, his wife died. At one point, his family even tried to drain the lake, but were stopped by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Apparently, an endangered species called the amber snail lived on the property. And if they killed even one snail, Child's family would face a major fine of $25,000 for every snail. It's only found two places in the United States, here and at a crossing to go across the Colorado River. Some say that Montezuma's treasure could be worth more than $3 billion, and that thought alone has attracted international attention to the Red Rocks of southern Utah. Do you think that's where Montezuma's treasure is? I really do. National Geographic and the History Channel have even explored the area to investigate the haunted ghosts and the gold. All indicators point to that cave. Scott All Walter, who is a host of America on Earth, told us about his experience. I was really impressed with a lot of, with just about everything that I saw. The caves that uh, we went and saw looked like a repository to me, and we talked with Lon, and that whole thing came together. It was surprising, and it was exciting. So, is there gold? A lot of people think it's still out there. There's a lot of evidence that it is. There's something going on there. Looks like we'll just have to wait and see. In Kanab, this mean Mafus, good for Utah.